Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael, at your most humblest of humble service. I'm fixing to eat breakfast number two, uh, making a breakfast burrito and uh, a healthy breakfast burrito. Uh, I do eggs, a little bit of cheese, some spinach, mustard, some salsa, usually some hot sauce. And uh, that's my breakfast burrito. Mike, where's your meat? The egg. It's a chicken. That's my meat. This video isn't necessarily about my breakfast burrito. However, it is about what's in this bag. Mike, what's in this bag? Well, if it's in the thumbnail, you might know. Uh, my wife works with a guy and uh, he grows some peppers. And uh, he sent me some uh, ghost peppers. So, uh, if you know me, which you probably don't on this channel so much, uh, I'm a sucker for hot, spicy foods. I like hot sauces and salsas, and I like going to the extremes and eating the extremely hot uh, things of the sort. I've done the I've done the couple of different challenges on my other channel, Mikey Sin TV, M I K I E S O N. TV, all one word. It'll be in the playlist of Everyday Kitchen, the Everyday Kitchen. And uh, I do a lot of the, I did a lot of the hot challenges with the hottest chip challenge and the hottest gummy bear challenge and the hottest jerky challenge and uh, whatever else. And I've, I've done spoonfuls of extract sauce type things that are you know, millions of Scoville and everything else. So uh, I'm pretty good at handling hot stuff. I'm not one of those that overreacts and throws up and is coughing and making a big scene of things. All you got to do is tough it out for about 10 minutes and you're good to go. However, I will say that the next day uh, is not pleasant in most cases. In a lot of those types of cases where you're eating, when you're consuming uh, something that's that potent, so that's my only warning to you as far as that goes. Now we do have some ghost peppers. I've not tasted one of these yet. I have no idea uh, what uh, the heat value is on these, uh, the Scoville. I have no idea what, uh, if they're just plain ghost or some kind of hybrid. Like there's all kinds of different, uh, there's all kinds of different peppers and different things out there that people grow nowadays that are different hybrids of all kind of other things and uh they can get hotter and hotter and hotter you got ghost peppers and carolina reapers are your two main ones but then there's other things that they do and concoct and put together that's even worse than that uh so what we're going to do today is we're just going to taste one of these and uh see how it goes i've never done it and I can't give you a shot in the bag because it's just all going to, the bag is going to collapse. You know how bags do. But I got a good bit of peppers in there. And likely I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a raw bite of this. And then I'm going to put it in my burrito, most likely. And uh, you want to be careful handling these things because you don't want to touch your eyes or any other parts. Okay. So let's get a little cut going on here. Hopefully it's not going to squirt up at me. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cut off the stem just to get it out of the way. We'll do a little opening here on the camera. Opening. Looks like the mouth on uh, Beetlejuice. Those, whenever their mouths get stretched out. Mm, hey, what's going on? Anyway. So, to be fair and to make this legit, this side here has seeds in it. That's where your more your heat is, typically. Um. We'll go ahead and open that up a little bit and show you that. 
And this is a ghost pepper. Again, there's different varieties of ghost peppers. Where you grow them, how you grow them, affects the Scoville levels and the taste values and all that. So, uh, and I haven't done a hot challenge in some time, so my system's really not used to a lot of it, but I'll go ahead and go for it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Ready, guys? Instant heat on the tongue. It was instant. Instant. It definitely has some heat. I'm not gonna lie. That's definitely got some heat, guys. And of course I'm gonna sweat, and of course I'm gonna salivate. I sweat eating cheeseburgers. So the sweating part's not a big deal. Instantly, the first bite, I mean the first boop on my tongue, it was warm. That's where it's at is on my tongue. Some things that you eat affect more down your throat. Some affect your tongue. Some affect the whole mouth and some affect the entire process. Hey, that's impressive. That's pretty good. What I'd like to do is dehydrate these and crush them up and make them into a more of a flake. Then you can kind of just sprinkle a dab here and there. Yeah, that's impressive. Now, keep in mind, they don't taste good. It's not like you're eating that going, hmm, that tastes amazing. No. And most peppers for that point, for that matter, are not going to just taste good. Peppers, onions, and that. You don't just eat them and go, mmm, that's amazing. That's why you put them in foods. Woo. Anyway, guys. I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you. Woo. Now it's going down the throat. It's working its way. That's what she said. Now what does this have to do with health and fitness, Mike? Mental or physical this or any of the other? Well, peppers and onions are good for you. They're healthy. Even the hot is good for you. It gets things moving. You're going to wake up. If you eat one of these, your body's going to start producing all kind of crazy chemicals and different things. Waking it up and, I don't know, Google it. I'm just going to cut up a little bit of this. And it's definitely, definitely when you go and start cutting this stuff up, definitely want to wash your hands. I don't know if you see the gloss, but that is pepper juice. <coughs> I 
I have made the mistake of accidentally wiping my eyes before. Now, I didn't freak out and cry and all that. And I have, to, you know, went pee. So, got a little bit cut up here. We'll put that on the burrito just to spice her up. Woo. That's pretty good. Not good as in flavor, but good as in interesting and a nice little kick. Let me practice what I preach, guys. Water's hotter than the pepper. Oh, smokes. Well, there you go, guys. I just wanted to introduce you to something else in my diet that uh, I used to do more of. But I uh, thought you might enjoy it. So if you want to, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. This is mental. We touch on mental things. You can look at it that way. Physical, because it's having a physical effect on me. And it's food. And it's okay healthy. <clears throat> get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Spread the word, guys. Get me out there. I need to be touching millions upon millions of families with this positive channel. We'll see y'all later. Have a good day. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it.